Balearic island of Mallorca has gained a reputation over the years for hosting people who either want to do not much or don't know much about what they're doing. But there is another side to this historic island and it lies to the north, up amongst the mountains, where the more traditional end of the tourist market doesn't tend to bother going. And it's called, very simply, the MA10. Fantastic road. Fantastic road. The MA10 begins a long way back down the mountain, on the outskirts of a town called Palenka, which was first established by the Romans in the 13th century. From there it winds its way across the northern tip of Mallorca, rising gently above Palenka to begin with, but then becoming twistier and much steeper. In total, the MA10 is just over 50 kilometers long, and when it's not too busy with tourists or cyclists, in the off-peak seasons in other words, it really is the most extraordinary road on which to drive. And there are three distinctly different sections of the road. One in the centre that's incredibly tight and twisty, one at the top that's more open and a lot more fluid, and then a third section that leads down into the town of Sol, the far end, which not only feels, but also looks quite a lot like a purpose-built racetrack. It's the road itself that just absolutely sucks you in. This lovely rhythm to it, just like there is on all these fantastic driving roads that we've come across. There's also a stunning series of tunnels and lakes on the M810. And if you stop and look closely enough, you'll also discover the remains of the original Roman stone road at the side of its modern equivalent in various places. And all of this steep and seemingly impossible terrain was first conquered in order to be able to build the famous Sanctuary de Luc, which sits in a deliberately remote spot, almost exactly halfway along what has since become the MA10. The sanctuary, and therefore the road that leads to and from it, was founded in the 13th century, when a Moorish shepherd claimed that he'd found a statue of the Virgin Mary on the site, whereupon a monastery was built. Nowadays, it remains Mallorca's most important site of pilgrimage, with a night walk taking place from the capital of Palma on the first weekend of August each year. Enlightenment, it seems, must never be easy to attain, whether you're on foot, on two wheels, or on four. The history of the M810 is as rich as the modern road is intriguing. And although it's a pretty remote piece of road to reach, especially from mainland Europe, the end result is more than worth the journey there. And that's the whole reason why it was built in the first place, of course. The M810 is a unique piece of road. It's a great piece of road, for all sorts of reasons. Located on an island that has an awful lot more going for it than you might imagine. <laughs> 